Hey guys, I'm Nicole. Welcome back. So today I am going to be giving you a little bit of a writing workspace tour. I do use this space for writing. I also use it for working sometimes. So like on the weekend, this is more of my writing space, but on weekdays, I like to write outside in my gazebo, which you've probably seen in a lot of my uh, videos just because sitting in one place for a long time is not my favorite thing. When quarantine first started and I came home to my parents' house, I was kind of writing wherever. I sat at our kitchen table, I, or dining room table, I sat in our living room, I sat in the family room, and this created some problems because I was on Zoom calls and my mom was just kind of around like, you know, cooking dinner or reading her books or talking to her friends on the phone. So we would have these like competing calls and then we would occasionally call over at the other one and be like, could you move? Like you're messing up my phone call. And it was kind of hard to concentrate. So when I finished my master's program and switched over to the fellowship, I had a little bit of a break in there and I used the little bit of a break to construct this space down here. And I love it and I'm very, very excited to show it to you. So let's, let's go, let's do a little tour. Okay, so let's start here with my actual desk space. Um, a lot of the furniture was actually part of my basement that I decorated when I was in high school, in the house I lived in high school. And then when we moved to this house, it just kind of ended up in our basement, but not up anywhere. So this is the full desk space. As you can see, this is a basement, so like, there's a ton of clutter over there. Sorry, it's not perfectly aesthetic, but like, <clears throat> I just pulled this, like, table in here from another part of the basement and made it into my desk. So here's my chair, which is um, covered with a white blanket and a, a pillow that I grabbed from my couch just to make it more comfy. That I have this window here, which is literally my favorite reason that I have this. There's also a door um, to go outside if I want to, and it's just nice to look outside. The only problem is that it can be a little bit distracting sometimes. There's Unfortunately, a mouse that lives in those rocks over there and I can like watch the grass and like see the grass wiggle and I'll know that there's a mouse going through the grass. So yeah, it's a little bit distracting, but I'm glad to have the natural light. Okay, so yes, the actual desk space. Um, candle, which is for like mood setting. I'm gonna move that out of the way really quickly. And then I have this little setup here. Um, the map, all this stuff I just found in my basement. So the map I was given one Christmas. There's a whole bunch of countries in Europe there. Peru, Costa Rica, which was so hard to scribble in. Oh my god. And then over here we have some countries in Africa. So I love looking at that and like imagining where to go next. And then the seashells, again, were just like around my house. So you see that little bag there. They came from that and I just put them on my desk and I really like it. As we keep going, we have the junk drawer. Um, I'm doing some technical development for one of my projects. It's all optics, so I throw it all in the little bit of little bin. Again, I'm not like the neatest person in the world, so if I have bins to throw my crap in, that's great. Uh, then we have a photo, which actually my mom painted. It's a watercolor, and then this is a little like whiteboard. I don't generally use it, but it's kind of fun to have there just in case I uh, want to use it. You will notice that there is like a random piece of paper there. That's because I'm burning incense and um, I didn't want it dropping onto my tablecloth, which is a spare piece of fabric that I found in the old fabric bag in the storage closet. So this is, <laughs> this is very like DIY. I just used what I had around. Okay, let's kind of skip over the mess on the floor of things that I took off the desk so I could film this video. Oh look, isn't that so cute? It's my, um, it's a heat pack, but it's sloth. Okay, uh, this is a gym space, yes, but the thing I wanna show is the bouncy ball. Yeah, I wanna show the bouncy ball really quick because actually I generally don't sit on the chair. I usually take that thing and I put the bouncy ball on top of it and I sit on that. I'm really bad at just like sitting on a chair. I don't sit properly. I sit with like my legs crisscross applesauce or I sit um, with my knees under me and or I like to bounce around. So the ball is very helpful for that. And then we turn around and we have 
uh, bookshelves and resources right there. I love this painting here. Again, it just came from my old basement. So um, we do have, mo this is mostly craft books here that I use. This is a notebook. This is a work notebook that I use, but it's just nice that I can like throw it over here. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, we have classic books, we have kids books, we have Christmas books. When looking for inspiration or something, it's kind of nice to be able to pull, to go over and pull things just off the shelf. There's not um, too much to it really, it's just a lot of nice decorations. This notebook is like my tracker notebook, so it's always here. I love that like the explore matches the map. Okay, so really you can see that this is a kind of spur of the moment with what stuff that I had around the house using the space that I had workspace and the point is to kind of demonstrate that you can have a lovely functional workspace without having to even go buy anything. I did not buy anything for my space and I love it. As you saw, I didn't have I don't have a lot of materials around like pencils or pens or anything like that. I do have my books for reference if I need them, but really it was just about creating a space where I felt like I could be productive and creative, so having you know, things to look at, the, the map and the pictures, um, the candle to burn, all of those things to create an environment that's really like, okay, I'm just gonna settle in and enjoy my day and enjoy working here. What's also nice is it being in my basement when I'm done working, um, it creates a really nice separation between, okay, this is my like concentration time and upstairs. As soon as I go upstairs, it's like no more concentration time. Uh, it's time to do whatever I want. So tell me about where you work. How did you, especially during quarantine, if you're working from home, how did you create a workspace that it allows you to be productive and creative? Are there any things that you have to have in your workspace, like a candle or a certain picture, you know, inspirational quotes or anything that like makes you settle down, makes you feel inspired and makes you want to stay at your desk and work. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.